Hello everybody, um, ugh. that's what happens when you wear a hat. Um, yesterday I went for a little sort of jog, run. I initially started off with a walk and then I thought I'd just see how things go. The reason why I didn't upload anything yesterday was because I kind of wanted to do an, a bit of analysis for how I feel today. And the truth is I feel really good. Um, any sort of muscle fatigue I have is, is due to some of the strength work I've been doing this week and some of the stretching and things like that. So I feel absolutely fine. Um, I, I haven't gone out today for a run or anything like that. I'm just going to take it easy. I think probably the lower um, distances at the moment will be will be sufficient. Um, and I might wait until next weekend to see if I can perhaps go, let's say, I don't know, um, 12K, something like that. Nothing too extreme. And uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd let you know that's where we're at with it. I'm still kind of conversing with the physio. And um, the thing is, there's not a huge amount they can suggest, given that I'm not having any ongoing pain or discomfort. So it was kind of left to the idea that sort of see how it goes and they're there if I feel like I need to go there but they're not pushing an appointment or anything like that you know rightly or wrongly I don't know but obviously I thought it'd be best just to take things in my stride and just no pressure or anything like that and uh, and just see what happens so here's a little bit of footage from yesterday hope you're doing well thank you again for the continued support and I will catch up with you soon okay so I've been doing a lot of stretching this week, obviously no running, and I've just been taking it really, really easy. I've been continuing to make sure that I'm staying active, going to the gym, you know, doing some movements, some yoga, things like that. Heard back from the physio, and obviously given that they've not done a physical assessment, and perhaps the way I'm articulating what I'm feeling, and the assumptions they're making the physio said just to basically try a very light gentle kind of jog and just see if anything materializes because you know, I should feel it now I've decided to come here today to that just lovely outdoor space the trail sort of sandy kind of forest floor so softer than the hard tarmac it's got a little bit more give to it which could obviously work in two ways I don't necessarily want to lose my footing and slip or anything but at the same time I don't want to pound the pavement so I'm just keeping it really relaxed and just seeing how I get on now the other thing may be that because I've been doing a bit of research online that knock that I had around the knee may have just inflamed some of the, the soft tissue then I had that nasty bite in the same place and it, all of those things may have just put pressure on the kneecap or pressure on the area I'm still guessing at this point but I'm just trying to reach a conclusion as to what it could be and like I say I'm over a kilometre in I'm feeling no discomfort at all and uh, yeah I'm wearing the hokas as well I thought it might be kinder given that they're kind of built for purpose so we'll see how we get on and I'll keep you informed Okay, just stopped at 3k just for a little shake out. Just trying to get in around seven minutes per kilometer, so it is just very relaxed, very casual. No pressure on this run, of course. I'm actually just enjoying being out and um, just exploring this route. And I think for the winter, it's going to make a really nice, kind of wintry, flat trail base route. The only thing I would say is, with the snow, which is bound to come, and the mud, I don't quite know what it's going to be like underfoot. 
having never been here before in those conditions. But um, yeah, it's been really lovely, really lovely. I'm still very aware. <laughs> I don't know whether you become sort of hyper vigilant about everything and uh, I don't want to kind of let this get in the way of the truth and how my body is, but I'm doing okay, I'm feeling all right. So I'm just gonna make sure I continue this pace. Don't try anything fancy and um, yeah, see how things feel at the end of this run. This is really cool. Do you remember a few weeks ago when I came past here and I was building a fire? Well, what you've got here is kind of um, you know, a, a circle of seating with a fire pit in the middle. And um, yeah, as you saw there, it's kind of a little area where they bring, uh, well, children basically. I think probably had lots of well, was a forest school. And so over here we've got some built up areas where they can, I'm sure, go in and make a den and all those really cool things. So this has been quite nice to find. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, it's been quite good for me getting lost because it slowed the pace right down. I've had no idea where I'm going. This is the first time I actually thought, oh, I do know where I'm supposed to be. So I think it's a right here and heading back. So we're about 4K at the moment. Um, just letting the watch run. Walking, running, jogging, just taking up my stride. Um, still feeling okay, but um, yeah. I'm not taking that for granted. Ah, back on a trail of sorts. Here we go. This is what happens when you get lost. You find places like this. How oh, cool! Let's go. 